everybody and welcome back to the campaign let's play of Roro Tycoon 3 and today I'm going to be doing the uh, Flying Scotsman uh, scenario. So we're starting in Britain in 1840. It says here the Flying Scotsman leaving from platform number 10 King's Cross to Edinburgh all aboard. Daily departures at 10am since June 1862. During its reign it was the peak of British engineering and style and efficiency. At least that's the way things turned out. However, there was nothing certain about this route when it was first made. Your job is to make a legend in the railway industry. The Queen has entrusted you to make this railway a reality. You must connect the industrial centre of Scotland to the centre of the British Empire's industrial might with a railway that will set a standard of operations that will be the envy of the rest of the world. So for bronze, we have to simply build from Edinburgh to London by the end of 1865, so it's 1840 to 1865, it is 25 years. Um, so yeah, the Flying Scotsman is um, a route, or a train route, from London to Edinburgh, and it's um, an express route. Uh, it's probably one of the most famous locomotives in the world. Um, and the one that you'd see in most conventional photos would be um, that of a LNER or British Rail locomotive which was um, built in like 1936 and it had top speed of about 100 miles an hour uh, steam locomotive but we're in 1840 so we have obviously we've got to build the line because um, you can't have the train before the line and obviously it's an express train, so it needs to have a fast lifetime speed. So we need a lifetime average locomotive speed of 12 miles an hour or faster. This is for all cargo, not just express and not just freight, but 12 miles an hour, even in this day and age, like 1840, 1865, is not massively difficult. Um, and for gold, all of the above, and be in charge of the only railway by the end of 1865. So we'll have AI that we'll have to buy out Special conditions, players may only want to start one company. So, the good news is, is that we don't have AI just continuously starting companies. Once we buy them out, they're out. Like, they can still buy and sell shares, but they can't just keep creating companies. And we have two AI. So it's the same sort of setup as the British Isles scenario, uh, which is in my other um, playlist. Anyway, let's just create our company. And since we're in Britain, we will be... British Rail, obviously. Even though British Rail itself didn't actually exist until 1947. Anyway, we start with 1.1 million, and important to note, we can build unconnected track. And London is all the way over here, and then right up over here is Edinburgh. But it's not actually that far. I mean, if you've seen my British Isles Let's Play, we did actually do London to Edinburgh in the end, I think. But anyway, let's start by doing our usual Manchester to Liverpool routes. And Liverpool this time does actually have a port, which is uh, welcome. In fact, I actually... I did get the entire town, but I kind of put that in a very silly place, because... Uh, now I can't upgrade to a large, but it's not, not, I can't upgrade to a large station in Manchester, but, oh well. And if we take out a bond, hmm, yeah, let's take out a bond, and we don't have to worry about net worth, which is always nice, so let's get rid of the dividend, issue the stock, and we've got another million, so let's do London Portsmouth. Eventually we will want to connect over to Birmingham unless the AI take it, which is a pretty high probability if I'm honest. Good thing is the trains are cheap. Uh, the, the locomotives themselves. Huh. How can we build a station and get the entirety of London? We can't really.
because of the way London is, I can't fit the entire town within the station. Unless I just do it like that, but then we do kind of miss out that warehouse. And the museum, but I don't know what the museum actually does. Hmm. Is there no way we can fit a station in like that? Kind of. So it's like vertical, but such that it kind of covers the whole town. Or the whole city, rather. No, it doesn't look like it. Unless I have a very weird, like, sort of station placement, like there. And then kind of build out. I guess that would work. Let's do that. It's, it's weird, but it kind of works. And then we kind of have to come out this way. Hmm. Yeah, build a bridge like that. That's that's fine. So, um, don't have enough money for maintenance, but we can, and we only have atlas and planets. Unless we wait until June, in which case we can get some fireflies. Um. No, let's just go with Adlers. So, London to Portsmouth. Um, let's just reduce that to four loads. And then let's also do Liverpool to Manchester. Again, four loads. And then, let's just go. Now, there are two AI, and I'm predicting one of them will probably do, like, leads to Hull or leads to Middlesbrough. And then the other one will probably do, like, yeah, Bath Gloucester. That's quite a common thing for them to do. And then the other one will... Hmm. I was thinking they might take Birmingham, but now they kind of don't really have anywhere to go. Unless they did, like, Birmingham, Northampton, Birmingham, Oxford. But that wouldn't be massively profitable. So they'll probably end up doing Leeds and Middlesbrough. Anyway, and we have the Firefly, which is better in every respect to the Adler, except it's more expensive to buy, it's more expensive to maintain, and it's less reliable. Better on the hills, ever so slightly. It's also just a lot faster all round, so we want to upgrade both of these to Fireflies. And there was a news report. New Zealand, an official British colony. Weapon prices drop 10%, but we don't have any weapons as it is, so that makes no difference. Birmingham and Leeds, that's... Ugh, that's an ambitious line. I mean, look at this... Uh, look at this... Well, actually, it's not actually that bad a gradient. Although, it's... Yeah. It gets pretty bad in places. But that'll probably do quite well, annoyingly. Hmm. That's actually not an entirely stupid idea. I mean, no, that'll probably make a lot of money, annoyingly. Um, they could have taken a different route, but... It's not the stupidest thing in the world. The thing is, the AI... The, the AI in this game seem to connect A to B wherever that may be but they always seem to go in straight lines or as straight as possible and they, these guys connected over to Oxford not a massive amount in Oxford although there is a textile mill anyway let's just uh, keep playing the game bearing in mind that we will eventually have to buy these guys out And, unsurprisingly, the London-Portsmouth line is making a lot more money than the Manchester-Liverpool line, which is actually not hauling anything at this precise moment. Uh, we made $323,000 that year, with an average speed of 16 miles an hour. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, 12 miles an hour is not difficult. The Firefly in this game... And then later on, the Crampton. Um, they're actually, like, decent locomotives, so... Speed isn't really an issue. The main issue is, obviously, buying... Buying them out. Overall, this isn't a massively hard scenario, as long as the AI don't do that well, such that you can still buy them out. But they're pleased with us. We made 323,000 that year. Um. Anyway. Um. How much would it be to build over to Birmingham? Not like that. We could come round, like... We could either use their track, or we could just come round, like this. Kind... Hmm, it's not letting me. Has that textile mill just appeared now? Oh no, that textile mill is here in the start of the game. Growing prosperity. That's always welcomed. Uh, very occasionally, you will actually want depression. Very, very rarely. Um, usually it's in situations where it's like you need to build a lot of track, or you want to buy a lot of shares, because the track will be cheaper and the share price will be lower. Anyway, let's issue off our stock. Let's build. Can't quite afford it. Hmm. There's no way we can afford it, annoyingly. So let's uh, take out another bond. That's okay. So now paying 105,000 in interest. That's fine. Uh, one thing we will need, though, is uh, maintenance. Coming out of London, uh, we already have lots of water towers. Uh, we also need a maintenance here. And a water tower here. One should be enough. And we basically have a line to Birmingham. Well, we do have a line to Birmingham now. Um, so we can do Birmingham to Manchester or Birmingham to Leeds. Birmingham, not Birmingham to Leeds. Birmingham to Liverpool would be more profitable, apparently. Although more people want to go... F hmm... Let's just do both. Let's do Leeds, Birmingham. Not Leeds. Liverpool, Birmingham. Um, we can actually increase this up to six loads. And on flat land, that's no problem. So, do just like a full train. Like so. Hmm. Birmingham Rockets. Average speed of 25 miles an hour. That's uh, always welcome. Wow, this, this train's making a lot of money hauling clothes um, from London to Portsmouth. In fact, we can actually set up a medium station in Guildford. We do have enough room to upgrade to a large. And we can do... Portsmouth to Guildford. Uh, there's apparently a lot of passengers want to do that route. So let's do that. Yep. Lots of passengers. Uh, we'll need to double up around Guildford. And we'll also need a maintenance in Portsmouth itself. Um. There we go. Economic boom time is ahead. Uh, that's always welcomed. So, we could actually take out a bond for 9%, but we're not going to do that. Hmm. I think we'll actually set a dividend, just to give us... Give us... Hmm... Do I set a dividend to give us cash or not? 
because it wouldn't actually give us that much cash. Stock split two for one. Um, that's always uh, useful. Ah! Now, this is um, unique to this scenario. It's an event unique to this scenario. Uh, famine across Europe plunges Europe into chaos. Food prices soar up 50% as demand skyrockets. Um, and they're very pleased with us. We made 626,000 that year. So, if we look... Corn. There's not a lot of corn on the map. Uh, livestock. Some, but very little, to be honest. A lot. Very high demand for livestock up in Scotland. So we would make a lot of money hauling livestock from here to here. Um, grain. Again, it's only really produced in very little areas. Or very little amount. And produce. Not really a whole lot. So we don't really make a lot of money hauling uh, food. The famine in Europe has made shipping of food items quite profitable. It has been suggested that lowering your price on shipping food items could increase public support of your railway. Well, I just said we don't make much food for much money from hauling food. So we're going to lower it by 50%, which Dundalk has offered $300,000 to connect to it. That's all the way in Ireland. British Rail offers aid to famine-torn Europe. Chairman of British Rail has drawn the favourable attention of the crowd, of the Crown, after announcing 50% lower shipping costs for food items. So basically, people want to use our railway because we've shown support for the people by lowering our food costs by 50%. After, they just increased by 50%. So, obviously, if it was 100 originally, it went up to 150, it's now 75, so we're making less than we were originally, but we don't make any money from shipping food anyway, because we don't ship food. Most of our money comes from Express. And just checking our average speed, 17 miles an hour. And these guys are connected over to Hull, uh, as I thought they would do, to be fair. I still think Leeds Middlesbrough would have probably started them off better. Giving them more money. Interestingly that their share price keeps going down. They're barely making any money. Although these guys are making a lot of money. Interesting. Let's buy some shares in ourselves on the margin. Let's buy some more. It's risky, but I think it'll pay off in the end. Because I think we're going to make a lot of money. How are we doing for... Hmm. Should be okay. I was going to say how are we doing for traffic, because obviously now we have two trains running between Portsmouth and Guildford. One going Portsmouth to Guildford, one doing Portsmouth to London. Anyway... I think our next thing that we'll need to do is now build a stone bridge out of London. Like, coming out of London. Um, and then connect over to Birmingham. <coughs> and then do London to Birmingham. The thing is, is this scenario is similar to the British Isles scenario. Because obviously it's the same map. And you can make a lot of money if you know what you're doing. Uh, it's not a particularly difficult scenario. Uh, actually, let's not issue the stock. Let's take out an 8% loan. Slight incline, but nothing to be deadly serious about. Or deadly worried about, rather. Build maintenance and service tower coming out of London both ways. Uh, we do already have maintenance there. Let's build a water or oh, service tower, like so, and uh, let's just build another service in the middle, and then let's do London to Birmingham, 
full train and Birmingham to London full train not hauling as much but it's still going to make a lot of money and there you go because we're using the Birmingham line we've paid them like 2% profit uh, but interestingly we made 105,000 so far this year from the AI actually using our track so the AI use their use your track a lot more than you use their track it's a bit silly but that's just kind of how it works could also connect over to Oxford Let's do that. Uh, we'll need a maintenance coming out of Oxford and a water tower. And then let's do... There's not really a lot, but there's some stuff. So let's do London to Oxford. Oops. That was a misclick. There we go. London, Oxford. Making a lot of money shipping alcohol to Oxford. And as I thought, buying those shares on the margin has actually paid off. Our stock has split two for one. These guys are not... We made over mil... We made 1.1 million that year with an average speed 16. So yeah, 12 miles an hour is not difficult to do. Um... They're highly excited about our performance. The Birmingham Leeds, and now Birmingham Leeds Hull line, is doing very well. The other people are not doing very well. Um, barely making a profit. Whereas the Birmingham Leeds line made a huge profit last year. Um, somehow. Uh, we could connect Leeds to Middlesbrough. In fact, let's do that. We will have to use quite a bit of their track, unfortunately. So, we'll have to kind of build around the facts that we are using their track. Hmm. And I think that'll work. Can still, you know, can can build out of there. Yeah, that works. Okay, but we are out of money, so let's issue off. No, let's not issue off the stock. Take out seven percent loan. Build a big station in Millsborough, and build. Maintenance and service out of Middlesbrough. Check the gradients. Everything looks fine. And then let's do Middlesbrough to Leeds. Eh. And a lot of passengers and mail between Middlesbrough and Leeds. Save the game as Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman. Buy some more shares in our cell. Actually, let's buy some shares in the AI. Hunger causes mass emigration. Passenger traffic up 75%. That's insane. Let's buy some more shares in ourselves. So basically, now we're just going to make a load of money from passengers. Um, load of passengers in Birmingham. Where do they want to go? We did, we did Birmingham Liverpool. We didn't do Manchester. We didn't do Manchester to Birmingham. So let's do that. Birmingham Manchester. Interestingly, it's making some money hauling some grain, even though the uh, food prices are cheaper than they were originally. Oh. Okay, they've connected over to Northampton, so they're rapidly expanding. Actually, this is really annoying because we don't want them to do well. Let's buy more shares in them. And in ourselves. Yeah, we really don't want them to do well. 
because uh, then they're just going to be really expensive to buy out. Um, but let's let's connect over to Northampton ourselves. Uh, and do Lund... Uh, hmm. Let's do London to Northampton. Or Northampton... L London to Northampton. It's only hauling one thing, and that's some goods. Hmm. Unusual. Hauling loads of passengers from Liverpool to Birmingham, which is always nice. Buy some shares in these guys. Could buy back our stock. I think we'll just set a dividend. To be honest. And that'll give us about... About $130,000 in cash. Just from dividends. Um, with which we could buy more shares, and yeah, this is really annoying because these guys are actually doing really well, which obviously means that they're more expensive to buy out. Our stock split two for one, but so did the AIs. That's annoying. We made 2.2 .2 million that year. We are in an economic boom, which is always good. Um... Ecstatic about our performance, they rapidly increase our salary. Average speed overall for lifetime is 16 miles an hour. Uh, let's buy more shares in the AI. Just about 5,000 shares in the AI. Let's buy 2,000 more shares. Actually, that's not. Let's increase the dividend even more. In fact, one thing we can do... Hmm. Anything in Preston? Not really, but let's just connect over there anyway. Money's... Because it'll, it'll probably make a bit of money, so... And money's always nice. Everyone likes money. So... Actually, there's a lot of passengers in Preston. So we can do... Liverpool to Preston. Like so. Um, we can also do like Preston to Manchester. Okay. actually, how much would it be? Hmm. For some reason it's not letting me build track out of Manchester. It's not letting me build out of here. That's weird. Okay. Build out of Manchester. Uh, let's build a maintenance. Actually. Not quite. Not entirely sure how that's working. Like, if a train goes from here, can it still use that maintenance? Because the maintenance is literally in the middle of the track. I don't like that, to be honest. So, let's edit that. Let's wait for these trains to finish. Ugh. For God's sake, hurry up. Right. Okay. Doing a bit of a uh, good old jiggery pokery. Right, build maintenance here. May have to demolish that house, annoyingly. Oh no. Does kind of work. There we go. And then service tower. Um, 
Actually, I don't really need a service tower. How much would it be for a, a big tunnel? About one and a half million. 1.3 million. One and a half million for the route that we want to, that I want to take. So let's take out a six percent loan. Let's take out another six percent loan actually. And do Manchester to Leeds via tunnel. Hmm. What the heck? That's an interesting looking route. I don't know why you'd ever want that. Where does that actually come out in the end? There. But then we can't build there, anything there because that's... Uh, there's a stupid house in the way. So let's get rid of that house. And then we get a better view of what we're trying to do. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. That's almost acceptable. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. That's what I want. That is extremely flat. Because it's entirely flat there. It's just a slight incline there. And then we need a water tower. And then... Uh, we can do Manchester to Leeds. And we can also do Manchester to Middlesbrough. Let's do that. Middlesbrough, Manchester. Not making that much money. And then Manchester to Leeds. Uh, lots of passengers want to go from between Manchester and Leeds. And hopefully it goes via our route. Uh, which it does. It uses the tunnel. In fact, actually. And it uses... Okay, apologies for that. Uh, the game crashed out to the desktop. Um, so I've lost a few months of uh, recording because I just had to load the autosave. So we have lost the tunnel from Manchester to Leeds. Um, unfortunately. Now, going looking at mergers, the Birmingham and Leeds are getting very expensive. The Bath and Gloucester aren't massively expensive. Um, I could go on a mass buying of shares. In fact, let's buy... There are currently 20,000 shares of these guys outstanding. So I'd need a further 10,000 to get me up to 11,000 to buy them out. But then I'd still have to pay them about two and a half million because obviously we have to account for the share increasing. Um, but I might just do that. But not before I rebuild that tunnel between Manchester and Leeds. Uh, that's not as flat as what we had. I mean, it's still good, but can we do better? Annoyingly, I don't think we can. Nope, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, that will do. Um, let's build a maintenance out of Manchester and a water tower here. Uh, we are out of money. Uh, that's because I didn't take out them 6% loans. So let's just take out a 6% loan. Middlesbrough, Manchester. And... Manchester to Leeds. Okay. Let's save the game. Right. The main hard point in this game is obviously going to be buying out the opponents. Because, I mean, like... We're, it's only 1844 and we're already gone from Portsmouth to London to Birmingham, to Manchester, to Leeds, to Middlesbrough, and then we can connect over to Newcastle, 
and then Newcastle to Edinburgh, it's difficult because you have to deal with this river and then you have to deal with some uh, hills and mountains, not mountains, but like hills um, as you get into Scotland. So, I mean the flattest way would be to kind of go Carlisle, Dumfries and then maybe along the coast, but nah, it's a lot easier to just go along the east coast and just go Newcastle, build a bridge over the Tweed and then kind of into um, into Edinburgh, which we can, I think, possibly do now. I think we have enough money. Just about. Let's first of all, not like that. First of all, let's go into Newcastle. Let's actually pause the game. Rather than put it on very slow. Excuse me. So, medium station in Newcastle. Build maintenance coming out of Newcastle and a service tower. And then let's do Newcastle to Middlesbrough. And we can also do Newcastle Leeds. Or Leeds Newcastle, rather. Like so. The sheer amount of passengers in right now is uh, crazy because um, there's, there's just so many passengers. It says there's 112 loads of passengers in the entire map. And that. They're everywhere, really. Like, Portsmouth has 24 blows of passengers. So, like, we could do Portsmouth to Birmingham. It's a long way, but let's just do that. And it's making a lot of money just shipping passengers around. What's in Guildford? A lot of passengers. Some logs that we could ship over to London. In fact, I haven't actually done that. Let's do Guildford to London. No passengers, but... Oh well. Um, anyway, let's now do Newcastle. Try and get to Edinburgh. Well, I don't think we have enough money anymore. No. Nah. Again, building along the coast is going to be cheaper. That's weird, it's like a slight sort of incline or hill type thing here. Okay, we are across that river. Now, I mean, we could just build like a massive tunnel, but that would be a bit impractical, really. And expensive. And it's not actually that, it's not massively steep. But let's take out another 6% loan and build a station in Edinburgh and connect up. Ooh. Okay, there's an incline. Could not, could not avoid that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Huzzah! London and Edinburgh connect. British Railways connects the two industry giants, and it's only taken us four and a half years. And we still have until the end of 1865. Lifetime speed isn't going to ever really go below 12. So all we have to do now is just buy out the two AI, and they can't buy out, they can't create other companies. So once we buy one out, they're out. Let's just do maintenance and service along this line. So I got another 6% and do Newcastle to Edinburgh. And let's do another. Oops. Okay. We're not going to do the actual Flying Scotsman itself, like Edinburgh to London, that would take forever. And it wouldn't actually be that profitable, to be honest. Because obviously, the amount that you make in profit decreases over time. Um, let's buy more shares in these guys. 
don't have enough money, but let's just buy it on margin. And let's buy some shares in ourselves. Increase the dividend up. Ah, oh, these guys are so expensive to buy out now. Because they're just doing so profitable. So profitable. It's insane. But I think we can still buy them out. We are making a crap ton of money. I mean, we are in an economic boom. Hmm. Could actually buy these guys out soon. Uh, the Bath and Gloucester actually split split three for one. We split we split two for one. Um, we made five point eight million that year, and they've increased our salary hugely, and we've been awarded an economic bonus. Uh, uh, just a bonus of cash. Okay. Ah, uh, cause yeah, still can't buy them out. But we do have more than 50% of their company, so actually, let's just buy these guys out. There we go. Uh, that's one of them taken over, the Bath and Gloucester. So now we just need to take over the other guys, and we'll have the gold. Anyway, we will have obviously inherited a load of trains. And you can tell that they're the AI trains, because of what they're hauling. So let's just start at train number one. Uh, so this, that's a, that's an Adler, so we want to upgrade that. In fact, upgrade all Adlers, they only have two, to Fireflies. Exeter, Oxford, that's quite a long way, but that can stay. Uh, Northampton, Exeter, that's again, it's a long way. It's interesting how much they were actually using my track. Uh, I mean, last year we made one and, a one and a half million just from the AI actually using our track. The AI really like to use our track, which is stupid. They don't just build track of their own. Exeter, Northampton. I think we already have that. Yeah, we do already have that. But I guess we can have uh, two trains, one both way. That's actually it. That's all of their trains. So, now we just need to deal with these guys. So let's buy a load of shares in them. Uh, how many shares of these guys are there? Outstanding. Rather than actually add it up. 88,000. And we have 8,000. So, we do need... To just buy a whole load of them. Let's buy 25,000 shares. Uh, in them. A risky tactic, but... I think it'll pay off. Just as long as we don't get margin broker calls. Uh, which is a possibility. I mean, they're going to split. And we have a new locomotive. The... Buth, which is slower than the Firefly, but it's better all round. It's also cheaper to maintain. But let's just stick with the Firefly for now. Let's buy some shares in ourselves. Increase the dividend up. Just be careful that the purchasing power remains positive. Economic boom fading. Uh, I th obviously that's thought that would happen eventually. The economic boom can't last forever. But we do have to be careful. Uh, let's buy back some stock in ourselves. Just keep the purchasing power positive. It is increasing now. So... I think everything will be okay. Um, yeah, the, the purchasing power has gone back up again. Uh, these guys did split, as I wanted them to. 
still don't have more than 50% of their shares. So let's just buy... Actually, let's not buy shares in them. Because I'm a bit scared of our purchasing power. Let's buy some shares in ourselves. No, let's not. Let's raise the dividend up, though. Apparently can't. Uh, it's going to cost over 10 million to buy them out. And there's uh, 172,000 shares of them outstanding. And 172 divided by 2, and then plus 1,000, would be 87,000. I think. Yeah. So we still, we still obviously need more shares in them. Let's buy some more shares in ourselves. Buy shares in them. Huh. I mean, I could take out like a load of loans, but even then we wouldn't have enough. This is going to be really, really difficult. This game, this scenario, is easy if the AI fail, but because the AI are doing so well, then it's difficult. Normal economic growth, I've just got a broker call, so let's just buy back some stock. Hmm, this is worrying. Let's buy back a load of stock. Buy back shitloads of stock in ourselves. Huh. Again, we got the broker call. Sells from shares in ourselves. Take out a 9% million dollar loan. And buy back more stock in ourselves. Just need to keep this positive. And again, we've got a broker call. Huh. This is really not what I want. Hmm. It's December. Do I load the autosave? Yes. I think I'm... Sorry, I'm loading the autosave. I done fucked up. Simply put. So. Um. I think this will be okay. I mean, we're in economic prosperity. That will go down to economic normal status. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, economy's slowing. Just don't buy any, like... Just don't buy any shares and... You can't increase the dividend, annoyingly. Hmm. You can do with another economic boom. But... Yeah, you have reduced our dividend, because obviously we just bought a load of stock back, so we have, like, no cash. How am I going to take these guys out? Other than make shit loads of cash. Hmm. Let's connect over to Brighton. And in Brighton, there's a load of clothes that we can get from London. And uh, let's just do trains all over the place. Brighton to London. Uh, London to Brighton. Uh, Portsmouth to Brighton. Yeah. Hmm. It is going down. Which is to be expected because we went from economic growth, to, like economic boom, to prosperity, and then back down to economic normal. Train crashed between London and Birmingham. Annoyingly. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 
Their share price is going down. Ours is sort of remaining about the same. Hmm. That is actually increasing our purchasing power. But we still want... I'm not sure if that's wise, because we do want the shares. We want the 50%, so we can actually buy them out. Yeah, it's, it's going down. Let's buy back a load of stock in ourselves. Yeah, let's let's. Uh, we made 3.6 million that year. Salary remains the same. They're still excited about our performance. Their share price is going down. Hmm. Let's not do that then. Let's... Hmm. I'm just experimenting, kind of. We may end up with a broker call again. Ow. Piss. Thought that might happen. Oh, god. Economic recession ahead. So, let's sell off shares and them. Okay, that's not working. Um... Buy back shares in ourselves. Huh. How much are these guys? Oh! They've really gone down. Okay, let's take out a shitload of loans. And... Uh, I don't think this is going to be enough. Let's just issue a load of stock. And... Pay them a lot. Yes! That is the sneakiest tactic I think I've ever done. Wait, so... <sighs> Financial analysts are amazed. They have every reason to be amazed. Holy crap. Um, that's now gold. I mean, that is gold in seven years out of 25. The only downside is obviously if this company were to keep running, which um, it's gold, so once I press pause, like, I mean, unpause, we should get the gold medal. We might have to wait until the end of the year, I'm not sure. I'm going to save the game, actually. I mean... So what I've done, for anyone wondering what the fuck just happened... Because... They were... Because there's now an economic recession... I mean, we can't actually look at their share price. Their share price just plummeted... Because of the economic recession. And... I'm probably going to get a... I might get a broker call. Like, very soon. But that's kind of irrelevant now, because these guys can't create other companies. Um, so, I've just issued a load of stock which raises a load of money for me, personally, my cash. Uh, company cash. But obviously, that's going to plummet our share price. Our share price is just going to plummet now. I think. Um, although it might actually, because our book value did just increase because we did just buy these guys out, I'm not sure. Uh, but by taking out a load of money and then issuing a load of stock, um, I've been able to offer them just enough money, or more than enough money it turns out, uh, that we bought them out. And we don't even have to wait, that is gold. So that is a very sneaky um, tycoon, possibly robber baron, certainly capitalist um, tactic. 
of buying out your opponents. Just uh, take out a shitload of money, raise as much money as you can, offer them enough, and then hope they accept. And they did. And we did own about... Well, actually, I don't know how much... Of the, I don't know what percent of the company we owned. We owned a significant portion. It wasn't 50%, but we did own a lot. Anyway, that is a gold medal in seven years. So... Uh, we did have to do an, or we did have to do a reload. I'm aware of that, but even so, tis the gold you shall receive, and presented by the Queen, no less. The greatest industrial power of the age has given the world another wonder. Um, can't quite believe that. I thought that'd be a lot harder than it was. Anyway, save the game. Um, I mean. We're not going to keep playing this scenario, so don't really have to deal with the consequences of that action. Yeah, consequences would probably be reduced profit, obviously, because we're now paying a lot more interest and maintenance of the track. But we do also have extra routes that we can take. We have extra track. But that's not a massive issue. Anyway, that was the Flying Scotsman scenario. That was a gold medal on hard. So thank you for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Um... And share the video everywhere, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!